I used to struggle really bad with brain fog in combination with the blood sugar roller coasters that I would be on all day long from being on the standard American diet. I was constantly tired, constantly exhausted, and constantly dealing with gut problems. And I was like, this is just normal and my life because my job is hard and I'm tired. And it's normal to feel the symptoms of brain fog when you have a hard job. And fast forward all of these years, I've come to realize how wrong I was and how it was all very controllable in hindsight. If you guys remember the movie Limitless with Bradley Cooper, where he takes a pill and becomes a superhuman, if you want to supercharge your life and unlock 90% of your brain, then keep watching. You know, sometimes even after you clean out the diet, the processed food, that sort of stuff, there still might be days where you have brain fog and there still might be days where you sit down even after cleaning up the diet and you just feel like you can't get the work done. So some definitions. Brain fog is not a clinical term, but people who have brain fog have a hard time focusing, have a hard time maintaining attention, have memory and vision problems. They have low energy. They think slower than usual. They're irritable they feel sluggish, they're fatigued, they feel tired no matter how much they slept. Brain fog is usually caused by inflammation in the brain and it's usually an imbalance in the limbic system. The limbic system is a complex set of structures in your brain that regulate your emotional and motivational processes. There are a lot of different parts of the limbic system including the amygdala, the hippocampus, hypothalamus and the thalamus. Your limbic system helps you process emotions. It helps you form memories and regulate physiological and behavioral functions. It's also responsible for appetite control, responsible for your metabolism, gut health and memory. So some of the most common triggers of brain fog are food and your diet, of course, chronic stress or anxiety, PTSD or a traumatic event that happened in your life, lack of sleep or poor sleep, shift work or disruptions to your circadian rhythm, lack of sunlight, being sedentary, uh, the presence of any heavy metals, toxins, molds, as well as your overall metabolic health and having imbalanced hormones. So if you get brain fog after eating, then you should be evaluating your diet. If you are somebody that has ambitious goals in life, you are a busy professional, an executive, an entrepreneur, or an athlete, then you need to optimize your diet because without an optimized diet, you can't get to where you want to go. And if you are interested in achieving peak performance, then do check out my free guide on how to biohack your way to peak performance. I will leave links in the description below. Now, if you are on a standard American diet, it is likely to be a significant contributing factor to your brain fog, right? Standard American diet is full of sugar and foods packed in bags and boxes. Most processed foods nowadays is just a conglomerate of chemicals. It's made in a factory. It's not real food that came from nature. Real food comes from nature and all of these foods, processed foods can cause inflammation in the body. Sugar and high glucose levels can three times the increase in free radicals and damage human cells. Vegetable oils can also increase free radicals and you could be eating food that is causing inflammation. And if you're experiencing brain fog, especially after eating, then you're probably eating food that is contributing to inflammation. Hence why if you eat a meal with high carbs and high fat, such as like fettuccine Alfredo or burgers and fries or butter chicken, often experience brain fog and that sluggish food coma after you're done eating. Another cause of brain fog related to food can come from lectin and people with food sensitivities. So people with lectin sensitivity can experience inflammation in the gut and particularly in the hypothalamus element of the brain, which can lead to long-term autoimmune conditions. The next factor is sleep. So I have made a few videos on the topic of sleep and how to optimize your sleep. But if you aren't using some sort of device, such as an aura ring or a Fitbit to track your sleep and your sleep metrics, then you won't be able to optimize it. I do also have a sleep optimization guide that will leave in the description below if you're interested in learning on all the ways of optimizing your sleep. If you are not tracking your sleep, then you will have no idea how to optimize it. And if you have no idea what your sleep looks like in terms of REM sleep, how much deep sleep you're getting, your latency, essentially your sleep quality, if you are failing to optimize your sleep, then you will be dealing with massive brain fog on any given day. If you are getting less than 90 minutes of REM sleep every night or sleeping five to six hours a night, then it will lead to brain fog. If you are sleeping at different times every night, it's basically putting your body through jet lag every day or putting your body through daylight savings time every day. And it can cause your hormones to be imbalanced and wreak havoc on your limbic system, which impacts your ability to think clearly and focus on the task at hand. Next thing that can impact brain fog are heavy metals, toxins, and mold. So heavy metals can cause oxidative stress in the body resulting in brain fog. Oxidative stress is caused by an excessive buildup of free radicals in the body. It is essentially 
especially when there is an imbalance between antioxidants and the reactive oxygen species in your cells. So when there is a buildup of free radicals in our body, the body's natural anti-defense system cannot keep up and it leads to oxidative stress. So our body has a system in place called the antioxidant defense system where these enzymes are located in the mitochondria to help neutralize those free radicals. High blood sugar levels in particular can stimulate the production of free radicals, which is the oxygen molecules known to damage cell lining, blood vessels, and other organs. And oxidative stress can lead to chronic diseases. So things like a poor diet, a high sugar diet, high blood sugars, inflammation, chronic stress, conditions like diabetes, insulin resistance, hypoglycemia can lead to oxidative stress, but also things like heavy metals, toxins, and mold. Now, what you can do is you can get a heavy metal test done, and what that does is that it checks for high levels of toxic or potentially harmful metals in your body. So next thing that can lead to brain fog is just your metabolic health. The limbic system in your body helps control blood glucose. So conditions like insulin resistance, diabetes, and hypoglycemia can all affect brain function and lead to brain fog and even neurodegenerative changes. If you are experiencing the blood sugar roller coasters, then your energy is going up and down, the waves and crashes, and those blood sugar roller coasters can lead to oxidative stress and inflammation and thus cause brain fog. So next is hormonal imbalance. Hormonal imbalance can also lead to brain fog. Low levels of thyroid hormones or hormone irregularity can lead to brain fog. One common situation is when women go through perimenopause or menopause when they are between the ages of 40 to 60, which can lead to low or high thyroid hormones and oxidative stress. Other causes of low or imbalanced hormones are things like chronic inflammation, circadian imbalance, sleep disturbances, and chronic stress. Speaking of stress, this brings me to my next point, which is anxiety, chronic stress, and depression. So if you experience brain fog, anxiety, bad mood, inflammation increases our stress response, which causes anxiety, which can lead to things like depression. And so having techniques to manage your mental health and your stress levels will also tie hand in hand with addressing brain fog. Moving on to some recommendations for brain fog. Recommendation number one, fix your diet. So your diet and gut health are directly linked to brain fog. A diet with no processed foods or junk food is a good first step. A lectin-free diet or a carnivore diet can help with brain fog as well. So obviously you want to reduce the sources that are contributing to inflammation and brain fog. Speaking of the carnivore diet, if you are on the carnivore diet for weight loss, do check out our free resources in the description below. One of them is a special training on our four-step formula on how to accelerate your weight loss results on carnivore. So the next thing you can do is get your gut health and your microbiome tested. And this can make you more aware of foods that you're eating that are contributing to inflammation. And as a result of this testing, your ability to deal with brain fog will also be more optimized. If you continue to consume food sources that lead to inflammation, it will continue to lead to brain fog and the problem will never go away. Leaky gut can lead to brain dysfunction and the inability for you to focus on the task at hand. The next tip I have to address brain fog is sunlight. So try to get sunlight and fresh air as much as possible. The benefits of the sun are endless. It helps you decrease inflammation. And if you live in an area that doesn't have a ton of sun, then you can supplement with vitamin D or you can do red light therapy. Next tip is to make sure you are regulating your circadian rhythm. Optimizing your circadian rhythm and taking care of your sleep is one of the biggest things that you can do to improve your brain fog. Your circadian rhythm is deeply connected with inflammation. So if you wake up and your first hour of the day is rough, you feel like it's hard to get through, hard to get out of bed, you feel incredibly foggy, it could be that you are lacking that morning cortisol spike, which is what flushes out the melatonin, which makes your body feel refreshed and ready to go and ready to take on the day. So if you wake up in the morning and it's really hard to get through your first hour of the day, it could be a symptom of circadian rhythm disruption. If you are going to bed at 11 o'clock one night and then the next night you're going to bed at 2 a.m., your circadian rhythm will be out of whack, which leads to your hormones spiking at random hours of the day and it can lead to brain fog. This is huge. Even one hour of being off of schedule can make a big difference. I think we all know that feeling twice a year when the clocks either shift forward or back an hour and you feel like you're pretty tired for the whole week and that's because your circadian rhythm is adjusting to the time change. So it's no different than going to bed at a different time every night. Again, I have a couple videos on optimizing sleep, which I will leave up top as well as down in the description below. 
If you like this video today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments below whether you have struggled brain fog in the past and what you've done to overcome it. Until next time!